Hi, what's Fourier transform of delta function? But before, what's delta function? Well, delta function can be represented as a vertical line and it was introduced by mathematician and physician Dirac to simulate an impulse. You might heard about uh, system responses to an impulse or a step. Well, we can have no delayed delta function or delayed delta function. One of the most important feature of delta function is its area. So, the surface of a delta function is always equal to 1. Well, how to get Fourier transform of delta function? Well, let's just remember what's the relation of Fourier transform. Well, the relation of Fourier transform is this one. S of f is equal to an integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of S of t exponential g to pi f t dt. S of t is my delta function. So I'll get here no delayed delta function exponential minus g to pi f t dt. But how to calculate this integral? Well, by using our intuition. Let's suppose a random function function. Well, if we have delta function, no delay delta function. Yeah, that's my delta function. So, what would be the relation of this multiplication? Well, there is only one common point at the cross of both functions here. And what's this value? This value is f of 0. Actually, here is f of 0, but if we use a delayed delta function, but the response will be f of t tau, sorry. So here we'll get f of tau. In case of delayed delta function, here we get f of zero. Well, let's just apply this uh, feature to this integral. Well, I have no delayed delta function, so my integral will become by zero here. But this value is equal to one. So my integral becomes well this value is equal to one. And this is a feature of um, delta function. So I get I got a result of one. So in frequency domain
the frequency domain. Remember, Fourier transform allows me to switch from the time domain to the frequency domain. So in frequency domain, delta function represents all frequencies from minus infinite to plus infinite. That's it. Thank you.